Hi, my name is Nechama, and in this video you're going to learn how to use the Number Array feature in the Environment plugin for Revit. This feature allows you to number any element type you want in Revit within seconds. If you don't already know it, the Environment plugin for Revit was created by landscape architects for landscape architects, and it was basically meant to help us avoid all these repetitive and complex actions in Revit and to make the design and modeling process a lot more efficient and fluent. But a lot of the features can be suitable for all kinds of disciplines. So the number array feature is really the best example for it. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Over here in this plan, I have a number of elements that I would like to number. For example, trees, parking spaces, walls and grids. And for the example, we're going to start with the trees. So let's get closer and you can see that I have the tags but not the number. How do I do it? Very easy. I go to the environment tab over here, to the presentation panel and then I just select the number array feature. So over here I have the selection type that I need to define. It's pretty much self-explanatory whether I want to pick each element or by crossing. I'm gonna stay with pick element for now. And now I have to select the element type. So for us it's gonna be planting of course because they are trees and I have to select the editable parameters. Basically, we have several kinds of parameters. We either have the blue parameters, which are parameters that I created that are applying to all the elements in the category, or we have the black parameters, which are built-in parameters, such as the mark. Uh, the mark parameter was meant by Revit to number elements in a way that you would not have the same number twice. So usually we're going to use the mark parameter to number elements. Let's go on with the start value. It's going to be net one. Of course, it can be any number and the same for the increment. It's one, but it can be two or three or four. No problem. Let's add a nice prefix just for the example. And the text type is only relevant if you actually want to apply text uh, instances in the plan. I will show it later on. Now let's just press OK and just select the trees that we want to number. One, two, three. Of course, it will do it in the order that I'm selecting them. OK, that's enough for now. now let's hit. Um, escape and we have all the numbers all the marks right in place just the way we wanted it so now let's try to do it in a different way more time saving let's say and let's say I want to number all my parking spots so for now I'm gonna select one of these parking elements and then go to the environment tab to the presentation panel and select the number array feature. You can see that if I selected the element before going to the environment plugin, the selected element type is already correct. It's already there, the parking uh, space. Now let's try to do the selection type by crossing and I'm going to stick with the mark, but I just want to show you this cyan uh, parameter over here, space use. Basically, cyan parameters are parameters that I added, but they do not apply to all the elements in the category. So maybe some of my parking spaces have the space use parameter and some don't. For now, we're going to stick to the mark. Start value one, increment one, prefix let's make it P because it's a parking space and let's click OK and now I'm just gonna have a line crossing over here and then another one over here and click escape and there we have it, just in seconds, you can see one, two, three, four, it's numbered really by the order that I want it. 
So you pretty much got the idea. It's a very, very simple and very time-saving command. I just want to show you two last examples of how it really works. So let's say we have a grid and when we have a grid we again have this rule that one number cannot be repeating itself. So let's go to, let's select one grid and go to the environment again, select the number array and the grid, um, the grid elements only have the name parameter. And now let's say automatic start value one, increment one. Now you have to remember, I already have grids that are going one, two, three in my plan. And I want to see what happens uh, when I enter the same value twice. So simply select OK. And then just select this entire area. Don't worry, the command will only select the grids from that. Click on finish. And now a window is opened, an alert. And it asks me whether or, whether or not I want to change the existing grids. Let's say do this for all and OK. And you can see that these are 1, 2, 3. Just the way I wanted them. But let's go and see what happened to the original ones. So over here there was the original 1, 2, 3 that I had. And now they're old 1, all 2 and all 3. So as you can see this command is really really organized very simple, very intuitive to use. And it can also help you while planning. So for example, I can go to the number array and just select new text instance and say start value one, increment one, and I don't know, let's say draft over here in the prefix and define the text type, click OK. And let's say, I don't know, I just want a number um, these contour lines. So I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, etc, etc, etc. So as you can see it can have many many uses and many ways to use it but it's still a very simple command. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you like us you're more than welcome to try this plugin for free in our website arcintelligence.com. That's arcintelligence.com. Thank you so much for listening.